again. This lesson is about countable and uncountable nouns. A countable noun refers to things that can be counted, such as objects, people, animals, and places. Uncountable noun is for things that cannot be counted, like rice, water, and sugar. Let's start with countable nouns. These must be separate things that can be counted, such as pencils, cats, books, students, and towns. When we make a sentence with a singular countable noun, we use the article a or an before the noun. I'm sure you all know that we use a for nouns that don't start with a vowel and we use an for nouns that start with a vowel. We will begin by looking at countable nouns that don't start with a vowel. For example, bottle. I want to buy a bottle of orange juice. The singular noun, bottle, is countable, so we use a before bottle. I want to buy a bottle of orange juice. Chair. Why don't you pull up a chair and sit here? Again, chair is a countable noun and it doesn't start with a vowel, so we use a before chair. Why don't you pull up a chair and sit here? Now let's look at countable nouns that start with a vowel. Let's take the word apple. The doctor says we must eat an apple a day. Since apple is a countable noun that starts with a vowel, we use the article N before it. The doctor says we must eat an apple a day. Another countable noun that starts with a vowel is umbrella. I lent Susan an umbrella last night because it was raining. Since the word umbrella is countable and begins with a vowel, we use N. I lent Susan an umbrella last night because it was raining. Uncountable nouns are things that cannot be counted. For uncountable nouns, we don't put an article like a or n before it. Let's take the uncountable noun rice and sugar. Would you like to eat rice? I'm going to the grocery shop to buy sugar. As you can see, we don't put an article before the uncountable noun. Now, you will notice the plural of most countable nouns has an S at the back of the word. For example, Lily bought five pencils last week. Pencil is a countable noun, so the plural for pencil will be pencils with an S at the end. Look at this example. Please push those three tables to the corner. Here again, table is a countable noun, so the plural for table is tables with an S at the end. Now, uncountable nouns are a little different. They don't have a singular and plural version. For example, Jenny ate some rice. Rice cannot be counted, so there is no singular or plural just rice. The same goes for sugar. Please put less sugar in my tea. Now here's another thing you must remember. For the plural of countable nouns, we use many if there are many items. For example, there were many people in the shopping mall. The noun people is countable. That rich man has many houses. But for uncountable nouns, we use much. There is too much flour in the bowl. You cannot pick much sand with your fingers. In this exercise, fill in the blanks with the appropriate words where necessary. Number one, would you like to play dash chess? Chess is an uncountable noun. We don't put a or n before it, so we should leave it blank. Would you like to play chess? Number two, dash of my friends like to eat ice cream, but I don't. Friends is plural and can be counted, so we should use many. Many of my friends like to eat ice cream, but I don't. Number three, 
Katini keeps dash tortoise as a pet. Tortoise is a singular countable noun, so we use a. Katini keeps a tortoise as a pet. Number four, I was happy to see dash tigers in the zoo. Tigers is a countable noun and is plural, so we use many. I was happy to see many tigers in the zoo. Number five, you should not eat dash chocolate because it is bad for your teeth. We should use much because chocolate is an uncountable noun. You should not eat much chocolate because it is bad for your teeth. And that's it for this lesson. Goodbye.